It's been a real insult really to hear that I just got a 1% pay raise. I feel let down. We're not seeing anything from the government to counteract the real-time 20% pay cut that we've seen in the NHS. 42,000 vacancies of nurses, 150,000 vacancies of health staff across the NHS. The NHS cannot survive with our amount of vacancies. So we need a pay rise to save the NHS. Yes. We've seen how hard NHS workers have worked during the pandemic and how tough the last year has been for them. And so we're pretty furious about the pathetic 1% pay rise that's been offered. Seeing the hearses carrying the bodies of two dear colleagues driving past our hospital so we could pay our respects was one of the most emotionally raw things I've ever had to experience. NHS workers have been through hell dealing with COVID. We've had to come together, take collective uh, action to demand safer schools. In January, as educators, lots of us put in Section 44 in our school and we were the ones to kind of push back against the government's unsafe plans. Protect the NHS! We are the NHS! Protect the NHS! We are the NHS! I want change. I want change that recognises our value. I want change that recognises that NHS workers are critical to the UK. This is also about public sector pay. We've seen years of real terms, uh, pay cuts in the public sector, and it's time for public sector workers to come together and demand that we all get the fair pay that we The MPs' pay has increased by £17,000. In the last 10 years, £37 billion was wasted on a Serco contract. So we know the money's there. On the 12th of May is International Nurses' Day. We are asking all NEU members uh, and teachers and support staff to come together in their workplaces to show overwhelming support for an NHS pay rise. So we're going to be taking pictures with signs saying that we support the NHS pay rise in our staff rooms, on the playgrounds and just sending the loudest message we can that we support the NHS workers. <laughs>